Hello everyone, today we're going to see how we can paint the density of a sketcher node. So let's put here a grid node. So we have a place for our points. And just increase the resolution so we can hold more information, a better resolution of the the mapping or the, the painting. So put a scattering point here, you're going to see that the, the points are all over the place. But let's say you want to actually paint or give information where you want the, the density of those points. As you can see, you have the density attribute, and that's what we're going to use to drive uh, the, the density. Let's put a paint node, and by default, the paint node, uh, it put the color information, but we have an override. But we can use, of course, the color information as well, just change down on the scatter node for a CD. So to put it here, density. So now we're going to painting the density distribution of this. I can come over, paint this, press enter to accept. And if you go down here now and turn the density attribute on, you're going to see, oh, I probably didn't press enter here to accept. You're going to see exactly where we had paint density information. But let's say that you actually you have a map, uh, uh, image that you want to use to to drive the distribution. That's no problem. You can put a a map attribute from map there, and if you drop any any image here, uh, of course now this is giving the color attribute. And if you drop this on the scatter node, it's not saying anything, it's given an error because it's not again the density there. But if you go back and say CD, now you see you have exactly the map. Let me increase a little bit more the resolution here, the ton amount of uh, points. And you see you have this drawing exactly as the map you would have here. Well, that's all for today. I hope you had enjoyed.